Hey, I'm Jonah Hill. I'm taking the genius test to figure out how well I know mid-90s hip-hop. I'd say my love, appreciation, reverence for the golden era, boom bap era of hip-hop is so deep and so profound and it's a huge part of who I am. Which member of the Wu-Tang Clan wraps the hook on Cream? Method Man. Julio's 1995 smash, Gangsta's Paradise, samples what soul music icon? Stevie Wonder. Yeah. I just remember like everyone bumped that song like Gangsta's Paradise. But yeah, I also remember like the Weird Al version was really sick. I remember Amish Paradise as much as I remember Gangsta's Paradise. That was maybe one of the first times I understood when that songs were sampled. What's the name of Exhibit's first hit released in 1996? Get Your Walk On. Oh no, paparazzi, paparazzi. The first day when I, I got my license in LA, the first song I listened to when I drove by myself, you know, it's like a big moment, I put on Shrooms by Exhibit. Finish the Outcast lyric. Me and you, your mama and your two. Cousin. I loved Ghetto Boys, but like, you could just feel what Atlanta was through the music. You could like feel it drip into your ears. What rapper appeared on Jay-Z's 1996 hit, Ain't No? Lil' Kim. I mean, Foxy Brown, fuck. Whatever, that's not really my shit. How many tracks are there on Nas's 1994 debut, Illmatic? 10. I mean, Illmatic, it's like, I know that like I know uh, the back of my hand, I guess. Who produced Biggie's 10 Crack Commandments? DJ Premier. Mob Deep's 1996 song, Drop a Gem on Him, was a diss to what rapper? Tupac, Lil' Kim, Vanilla I, uh, Tupac? Yeah, like if you were just a big fan of music, you know, I don't think you're gonna get caught up in, in that, you know? And I was just a kid, I wasn't like throwing away my East Coast records, you know? What is the name of the debut album by the Fugees? Blunted on Reality. Oh, I got it. Who directed the video for Missy Elliott's The Rain, Super Duper Fly? Hype Williams. I love Belly, I watch Belly on the regular. Actually, you guys have the exclusive on this. Before Phil and Chris directed 21 Jump Street, I brought in, I wanted Hype Williams to direct 21 Jump Street, and it didn't work out, but um, the sequence where they're in Jamaica and Belly is like one of my favorite like sequences of a film. What rap duo rapped about Lucini pouring from the sky in 1997? Camp Lo! That song was in the movie and we had to cut the scene. It was such a bummer. Editing is killing your babies, you know? Like I'd written every song and I'd written the scene of them in the car to Lucini and I was so hyped to flex and then I had to, had to let it go. So it'll be on the DVD. <laughs> I think I got too wrong if I'm being real honest. No, because I did get blooded from reality. Thank you very much. I'm grateful. Everyone thought you're gonna be scared to know your knowledge. I was like, this is, I thought it was gonna be way harder than this.